Alright, so today we're going to learn how to do rem multiple remote concurrent sessions in Windows 7 Home Premium. Uh, by default, Windows 7 Home Premium doesn't even offer remote uh, access via uh, remote desktop RDP. Uh, that is completely disabled. Um, I found a program uh, courtesy of someone else that will actually allows you to activate that and not only that but allows you to enable multiple users to be logged on at the same time so you can have someone actually at the terminal and then have uh, someone logged in remotely uh, just to show you which system I'm working with it is Windows 7 Home Premium 64-bit uh, I have 4 gigs uh, AMD 64 dual core uh, running at 2.9 gigahertz um, so the first thing that we're going to do is need to download the file that we need to uh, to make that work uh, I'll put the link in the sidebar, but it's thegreenbutton.com slash forum slash t slash 79427.aspx. Uh, this particular forum has the link and some information. Uh, this is the file that you need to download, which is concurrent RDP Win 7 RTM patcher. Uh, not sure if this is actually made for the retail release, uh, maybe uh, actually for the uh, the beta release. However, it does work. Um, I, this is a retail release that I have. This is not a beta release. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get that out of the way. The file's already downloaded here. Uh, it's a RAR file or a zip file, so I've already uh, ex uh, uh, extracted that. Uh, I'm going to give you this file here, uh, this folder with some information. Just run the install. Uh, it's going to go through a command prompt. Uh, actually, it has to be run as an administrator, as you can see there. Uh, go ahead and do that. Uh, mine has already been patched. Mine has already been patched, but that's no problem. Um, just answer a couple quick questions. Do you wish to enable multiple sessions per user? Of course we do. Do you wish to make a blank password logon? Uh, it's kind of up to you, yes or no. Uh, and what it's going to do is go through here and uh, go ahead and update uh, your settings. Uh, it's going to actually verify that it's working by giving it time to listen and then checking port 3389, which is the RDP port. Uh, once you have this updated, uh, you'll find that you'll be able to uh, log on remotely uh, while someone's at the terminal without booting them off. However, you cannot log on to the user that's already logged on. For example, uh, the user that I'm logged under now is me, which is Jeff. Uh, obviously, someone remotely would not be able to log in as me. So, uh, as soon as this finishes, we'll go over and uh, show how this is working. Okay, so it took about another 15 or 20 seconds. You can see it's got these two lines, shows listening, shows you that the service is listening and that it's done. Uh, press any key to continue. Once you do that, that's going to close out. Um, I can't recall if I restarted at this point or not. Uh, it's probably safe to go ahead and do a restart just to make sure you get everything loaded up properly. Uh, what I'm going to do now for the ease of showing you how this connects properly is to open Remote Desktop on this computer and connect to another user on this computer. That may not make sense at the moment, but uh, shortly it will. Um, in case you don't know how to get to remote desktop, you can either go down here to your search bar and just type in MSTSC, which is the program name for remote desktop, or you can uh, go through the accessories menu to get to it. Uh, I've got two of them here. You can see that I'm connecting to the IP address for this computer, which is uh, 192.168.1.105. Um, the user that I'm going to connect to is actually going to change I have multiple users on this computer, so we're going to go ahead and connect on a couple different ways. Uh, of course, the blank password is enabled. And as you can see, now I'm connecting on that user, and also going to be connected on this user. So now I have two remote sessions, plus I'm still logged on to my computer here. So you can see this is definitely definitely something that would be very useful, especially logging in from a remote location to access your files and settings. Uh, of course, just to show you that I am indeed logged on to the same computer, we can look here under Users, right, of your uh, Task Manager. You can see that we've got one user logged on at the console, and then two RDP connections, TCP0 and TCP1, both under the desktop, which is, of course, this computer name. Uh, three different ID numbers, three different users logged onto the same terminal. 
I uh, hope this has helped you out. All the links to the program are in the sidebar. Uh, hope you find this useful.